Hi folks, I'm back again. Yes, I am. And we're joined here uh, with a great friend of mine, Charles White from BOMAG. And BOMAG has been doing something very, very clever, folks. This is RoboMag. And uh, Giles, this is a unit that doesn't need an operator. It'd be fully autonomous or remote controlled. Tell me about the capabilities of this machine and it's been around and been tested for some time now. Yeah, it was actually built and launched in uh, 2019 and shown at Bauma. Yep. Um, the machine can be remote controlled for tight area work, but also it can be used autonomously, programmed remotely uh, to cover a certain area and then it, it knows the compaction levels and it will roll backwards and forwards until it reaches the desired compaction level. So how does it actually work out compaction levels? Because that's quite technical, you know, normally you'd, you'd have an operator there that, you know, the vibrations of the machine, they'll be able to feel it as well. What happens with the robo aversion? So the machine itself has got sensors built into the drum. Yep. So the drum actually continuously covers the whole surface area and gets feedback from the ground and can actually pick up the stiffness levels. Right. The machine can then automatically adjust the force that's required to put into the ground. So if it gets to a soft spot, it will increase the effort. If it gets to a hard spot, it will decrease the effort. So what's really exciting about this, folks, is you can actually do work like this overnight when other people have maybe done the grading and that can be achieved overnight therefore people plant interface is completely eradicated and also fundamentally you can do that when when people have like you say those tighter spaces and those confined spaces or maybe it's a dangerous spot exactly yeah so instead of using the standard machine it may be in an area that's on a steep incline mm. or near the edges of something you can actually put a remote control roller in there and that can do the work, hopefully safely, but if there is any problem, at least there's no operator involved. And this is quite a big machine. We normally look at remote control machines being quite small, folks, the ones that I've seen. This is a big beast, this Giles. What can it actually achieve in a day, and how is it powered, you know? Uh, so it's an eight-ton unit, mainly right. used for, for asphalt, some stonework. Um, so this would normally go behind probably um, as either a big 18-ton or a, a 10-ton uh, paver and right. do the asphalt compaction behind it. Uh, and one of these units, perhaps with a small unit working with it, will keep up with the paver all day, all night. Fantastic. And so we're seeing this technology shown here at FutureWorks um, today and the main events tomorrow, folks. You can still register futureworks.uk. But basically what we're seeing as well is the use of technology and data that's not just being fed from this machine. Inside, you've got a stand uh, where you're showing some more special stuff. Tell me a little bit about that. Yes, yeah, so we've got on the stand is the launch of our electric small um, battery powered tamper for trench reinstatement. Right. Um, so again, that's reducing the, the diesel and petrol emissions. Uh, we've also got a, a remote control roller, which is much smaller. It's only 2.5 metres wide. That's much smaller, um, much lighter, but can be used in real small spaces. It's not autonomous, but it is remote control uh, and it has AI cameras on it that can pick up people right. and send out warnings that knows there's a person there. Uh, and we're also showing our connected plant, which is the um, fit to RoboMag as well, which is called BOMAP. And that then takes all the um, data for the compaction, all the passes, maps it all, and shares it all instantly on the cloud. So that's real-time data coming from, and that's what I like to talk about a lot, folks. Real-time data is very important because if something goes wrong in real time and you know about it and you can get alerted or you don't, or you know that actually you've hit some soft ground and need more material in, well, you can order that and you can keep that site working really, really effectively. And all of this data is what we need uh, to actually deliver for main clients like National Highways and HS2 that are actually going to be speaking and exhibiting here uh, over the, the next two days. For me, I really understand a lot about how these things work, but what I don't understand is how we can connect it all together. And so it's great to hear that you've got that software that's feeding in and so that we can get everybody to see what's going on on site in real time so that we can make all those changes, plan for the future, be more productive and effective, and of course, when we really want to, be robotic with <laughs> RoboMag. Thanks very much, John. No problem at all, Peter. Thank you.